Spotify stock has recently lost nearly 25% of its value in 2022 and 45% over the past year. What's going on? There's a couple things going on. One is that the whole stock market took a dip. Mm -hmm. um, you'll, you'll notice that there's this thing called blue chip stocks. All right, blue chip stocks are usually well-established companies uh, that will not lose as much value during a crash mm -hmm. or during a correction. You know, a correction is not as big as a crash, right? Mm -hmm. So a, a crash uh, would be like early 2020. Yeah. When the first news about uh, coronavirus was coming out, people just get scared. Mm -hmm. They don't know what's going to happen. There's uncertainty. People don't like uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they pull their money out so that they can at least know that I have my money here uh, even though historically it's going to bounce back within like a year, right? People just want to have their capital so that maybe they can do something else with it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was like a crash. I think it dipped over thirty percent or forty, like the whole market. Um, and some individual stocks might have dipped over like fifty percent. Uh, you're talking about within like a week or something. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, we now saw after a lot of money piled in after they printed a lot of money in 2020 a lot of people put that money into the markets mm -hmm. in 2021 mm -hmm. that drove up the price mm -hmm. of it was like across the board mm -hmm. it's companies that people had no business putting money in they were just trying to find somewhere to put it right because you don't want to put it all in one place right um so they, they print a lot of money that money uh is sent to the banks people mm -hmm. can borrow from the banks mm -hmm. so the people who know how to work the markets borrow a lot of money okay and they put that money somewhere like i was just saying now what a correction does is it takes all those stocks that were overvalued mm -hmm. and takes the money out of them mm -hmm. so spotify like i've i've said before um not innovating like they should be facts uh they the things with the podcast are pretty good. Um, like, it's, you know, what they did there in that direction is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as innovating for Web 3.0, they have not done mm -hmm. their their part. I have not heard any news. If you guys have news on that, feel free to drop <laughs> it in the comments. Yeah. Um, but people, people want to see some sort of innovation, and they want it to be like a, a company with a – very solid track record. Yeah. So, for instance, like if Apple says something about the metaverse or you know Web 3.0, it's uh, in. Even the Web 3.0 is like a new term and still kind of risky. They're mm -hmm. like, oh well, it's Apple doing it, yeah. or it's Facebook doing it, mm -hmm. or Microsoft doing it. I think I'm okay. Versus yeah. if even if it was some like a smaller company mm -hmm. that's doing something with Web 3.0, um, People might not put their money there just yet. Facts. But if, if it's with a bigger one, mm -hmm. they're more likely to do it. 100%. So with Spotify, they had a chance to, I say they had a chance to be one of the people that um, that could really have grown during the the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But I just don't think they seize that opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, so it didn't have anything to do with, and this article came out before mm -hmm. any anything really with you know joe rogan neil young and all that stuff so um like i i would not put money in the stock yeah. i just wouldn't um i i put the money one personally my my theory people can have their own uh i know some people are like long-term investors and all that stuff this is not any financial advice it's just what i do uh i like to personally put my money where i can have an influence on it 100 percent that's where I put the most money. Mm -hmm. So I know people are really heavy on Apple or Amazon or whatever. And they technically what you're saying is that you think they are better at growing your money than you are. Facts. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I just think that I can figure out, um, I can find the gap in the market. I'm uh, yes, I'll be the guy. Yeah. Like I, I, th I think that I can, look at these patterns and analyze them and find a gap. Yeah, yeah. And that gap, I can compound my money better than it, me leaving it anywhere it would. That doesn't mean I don't have any money mm -hmm. in like any long-term company or mm -hmm. investment or whatever. Mm -hmm. I just think I can find the gaps and I think I have enough data to show me I can find the gaps and execute on the gaps. Right. 
Uh, so that's that's all I'll say about it. I'm not giving away any more of my secrets, <laughs> but that's personally where I would put the the most. Um, but aside from that, you know, Spotify stock. If you guys want to put some money in there, you know, feel free. This ain't advice. It's just just opinions. Um, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, good stuff.